This video is the ultimate comparison between the three main Billy Corgan signature electric guitars. I'm not including the TERS and the extended scale length drop Z or his acoustic, just the three standard 25 and a half inch scale length guitars. All of these have been freshly restrung with Ernie Ball Slinky 10 to 46 strings and are tuned to E standard. I'm going to run each guitar through some different amps on the bridge and neck and compare them back to back. No amp settings will change between guitars and then I'll run through what I think makes each guitar unique in its own right. First, we're gonna run these through a clean fender, then we'll add some drive with a green rhino before moving onto some fuzz courtesy of the Big Muff before we switch over to a distorted amp. First up, the fender, Billy Corgan. All the body, string through hardtail in Olympic white or flat black nitro. We've got a maple C-shaped satin poly neck with a nine and a half inch radius fretboard, 22 frets, big 70s headstock and fender tuners. This is loaded with a Damasio BC1 in the neck, a chopper in the middle and a BC1 in the bridge. We've got a master volume with neck and bridge tone controls and a five position switch. All this packaged up neatly in a tweed fender case. Made in the USA and released in 2008, these had a five year run before they were discontinued in 2012. Next up, the Reverend BC1. Chambered Carina body with a raised center section and a string through hardtail. These came in silver burst, satin pearl white, purple burst, satin metallic alpine, and satin black. We've got a roasted maple neck with a roasted maple fretboard, 12 inch radius, and locking tuners. This is loaded with a Railhammer BCN in the neck and a BCB in the bridge. These have a four piece brushed aluminum pick guard. We've got a master volume, tone, and bass contour with a three way switch, bridge, both, and neck case sold separately. These are made in Korea and set up and QC'd in the USA. They were introduced in 2016 and are still in production alongside our next guitar, the Reverend Z1. The second offering from Reverend is a more refined design of the previous model. Got a chambered alder body, string through hardtail, in orchid pink, midnight black and metallic silver freeze. We've got a medium oval roasted maple neck with a roasted maple 12 inch radius fretboard and locking tuners. These have a one piece brushed aluminum pick guard loaded with a Railhammer Z1 in the neck and bridge. Master volume, tone and bass contour with a three way switch. Bridge, both, neck. Case is also sold separately and these are made in Korea, set up and QC'd in the USA and were released in 2022 and are still in production. In the name of science, I'm gonna do my best to keep this as fair and unbiased as possible.
So what do I think makes each guitar unique? Let's start with the Fender. Positions two and four with the unique wiring and humbucker coil splitting give this guitar some outstanding versatility and some of the most beautiful, warm, clean tones while still sounding Strat-like. The BC1 has reverence bass contour that allows you to sculpt your tone. This delivers clear and sparkling clean tones with ease. The Z1 was built for rock, and if anything, it over-delivers. It also has the bass contour, but the pickups are what make this a standout. The amount of distortion they can handle is hard to describe, but they do it with ease and never lose their clarity or get muddy. Every note rings. <laughs> Before I finish this video off, I also wanted to use each guitar to its strength, but in a mix. I'll let you make up your mind which guitar sounds best to you, but thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for plenty more.